Welcome to The Lift. All this week we're going to be talking about how sometimes looking at yourself can make you feel as though you were destined for darkness. Because a lot of times we don't just look inward, we compare ourselves to everything that we see outward. And so today I want to share a story with you about someone who is very important in Jesus' life even though they lived a long time separate from each other. This story comes to us from 1 Samuel chapter 16. And it's the story of when Samuel went to go find a king for the Israelites. Samuel was a prophet. And so what that means is he would get messages straight from God and God would talk to Samuel. God would tell Samuel his plans and then Samuel would go and tell all of the people. Well, God was talking to Samuel and he said, Samuel, it probably sounded like Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. I want you to go and find my king. And so Samuel went out and he knew where God was leading him. God told him where to go and what to do. So Samuel shows up to this man's house. This man is named Jesse. And Jesse had eight sons, seven of whom were older and then one who was younger. And we'll get to him in just a little bit. But so Samuel shows up to Jesse's house and he talks to Jesse and he says, Jesse, I have come here, God has sent me, and one of your sons is anointed as the king. Now imagine Jesse's excitement. So he starts grabbing all of his sons, and he starts with the oldest because the oldest was the one who would always get the greatest inheritance. So of course Jesse is thinking exactly how most people would think. He's thinking, oh, well, this is who I would give the inheritance to, so this must be who God has chosen. So he grabs his oldest son, and he puts him in front of Samuel, and Samuel looks at him, and Samuel just believes that this is the one. Because the Bible tells us that this first son, this first son was very handsome and he was tall and he was tan and everything about him looked great. Now imagine in your life, this is the person who you constantly compare yourself to. This is the person who you always look at and you say, they look better than I do, they have more than I have, everything seems to go well for them. Why not me? This is that person. And Samuel is looking at him and he, he's understanding that this guy is, is just awesome. And all of a sudden, God gives Samuel another message. And he says, Samuel, quit looking at him. I have rejected him. And this is the most important part. It says this. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. See, this guy, he may have looked the part. He may have been tall and handsome. He may have just looked amazing. He might have had some great skills. He may have been an amazing leader, but from the outside, he seemed so good. But when God looked at his heart, his heart was not ready. And so Samuel tells Jesse this, and Jesse brings in the next son, and Samuel says the same thing about the next son, and Jesse brings in the next son, and the next son, all the way through seven of his sons. And Samuel is frustrated because there's no more sons in the room, and he looks at Jesse and he says, is this all you have? And Jesse kind of ponders it for a moment, and he says, well, I've got one more son, but he's out in the field watching over the sheep and Samuel says bring him here and so Jesse goes to get David his youngest son and David comes in and Samuel immediately upon looking at him knows this is the one the youngest son now think about that all of these seven sons you went through every single one and David would be the least likely to inherit anything, the least likely to get anything amazing. But Samuel says David is the one God has chosen. God chooses some strange people sometimes when we look at it. But remember, God doesn't look at the outward appearance. God looks at the heart, and David's heart was ready to be chosen. God rejected all the others and chose the least likely. 
the one who everybody else looked at. And David probably looked at himself often and he said, man, I'm not as good as him. 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 But God saw him and knew that his heart was ready. It didn't matter what we saw from the outside because it was his heart that mattered. That's how God is with us. See, we can constantly compare ourselves to other people. And even though we might seem weak, even though we might seem like the least likely choice, God has chosen you for something amazing because your heart is right where he wants it. And so you need to find what God wants you to do. You need to see yourself how God sees you, not looking at the outward appearance, but looking at your heart. And when you can do that, then you can understand it doesn't matter how you match up to other people because God created you to be you and you have an amazing purpose is just like David. Now for the past three weeks we've talked about Jesus and stories from Jesus's life and look at this David's lineage if you follow it all the way down David is the great 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 on and on and on and on great 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 grandfather of Jesus. Imagine that this little boy who nobody would have expected who he didn't even expect himself this little boy was chosen to be king. And because his heart was ready, he got to do that. And as, his, as time went on, he was a relative of Jesus. God has chosen you for something amazing, no matter how you match up to other people, no matter how much you think you match up to other people. He's looking at your heart. And if that's ready, there's no darkness that can overcome you because you are not ever destined for darkness. This is The Lift. Hey everyone, Brad Marla here coming at you from my hotel room with your workout tip of the day. Um, quick thought on stretching. Stretching beforehand, that's an okay thing to do. Um, if you want to limber up, if it makes you feel better. If you think you'll have a better workout for it, that's fine. Just don't overdo it. Don't go beyond 30 seconds and into several minutes. That's going to increase your chance of, of hurting yourself. It's really not going to do you any good. Wait till at the end after your workout um, to do that. That's when it's best to, or even on your off days, that's the best uh, time to uh, try to gain uh, flexibility and mobility. That's your workout tip of the day. Strength is more than muscles. This is the lift.